Tasmania TV. In today's video I'm going to be doing something that you guys have been requesting for a while and that is an updated piercing jewelry collection video. All the jewelry that is for my stretched lobes, so all the tunnels and plugs, I have done a separate video on those, like actually trying every single pair on, so I'm not gonna go through like every single piece of jewelry in here because I do have a lot of stuff. So if you want to see those things on, you should go check that video out. I posted it like a couple of months ago or something like that, but let's dive right in. This is the box that I keep all of my piercing jewelry in at the moment. It's starting to get a little bit crowded in here, so I might have to expand soon. We'll see. I purchased this a couple of years back at a craft shop here in Stockholm, which is called Panduro, but you can find similar versions online, like on eBay and stuff like that. And this is a three-story box, which makes it really handy. It has a handle so that you can lift it, and then you can take each story apart by opening these. And you can switch the order of them if you like. So here are my three. Let's start with the bottom. Okay, so in the bottom layer I have all of my stretch jewelry that I just mentioned. So we have a bunch of plugs and tunnels all over the place. The only exception to that is this little part right here. And this is where I keep the jewelry for my stretched septum. So there is a bunch of stuff in here. And there's, at the bottom, there's all kinds of stuff that has nothing to do with anything at all. Like, there's a, a bracelet, like a charm bracelet and stuff. I don't really use most of the things in here except for the septum jewelry. One of the ones that I started out with, the 2.5 one, it looks so small right now. And then we have a bunch of acrylic ones that I haven't used yet. I got those because I'm getting an MRI soon and you can't wear metallic jewelry in an MRI. So I thought it'd be good to have plastic ones. And then we have... Like, all the ones that I've made my way through already. And then we have, like, upcoming sizes. So as I'm recording this, I'm at four millimeters. Moving on to the second layer. In here is where I keep bars and rings and all of my old septum jewelry. The only way I can wear these now that my septum is stretched is if I stack them. I haven't tried doing that yet, but I'll probably try it at some point because I have a lot of cool stuff in here, like a bunch of awesome clickers that it would feel a little bit wasteful. So I'm definitely going to try stacking once I reach my goal size. So all of these in here are for the septum. You can see that I have a lot of stuff because I do love my septum piercing. And then in here we have horseshoe rings, like this one, both plastic and metal ones. And in this one we have complete rings and a couple of D rings, like this one. In here we have longer bars. These are bars that I used for my cheeks when I had those pierced, so I don't really use those anymore. We also have the attachments that I made to try to see what I would look like with a stretched septum. So those are in there as well, so I don't really use any of these anymore, but it's good to keep them. You never know what you're gonna get pierced. And then in here I have the bars that are for my snake bites. And in here I have the bars that are for my medusa. The medusa bars need to be shorter. Like this one for instance and then the snake bites need to be a little bit longer like this one these are all 1.6 millimeters thick though moving on to the final layer which is all the attachments and balls so in here i have smaller balls like super super tiny ones i don't wear those crazy often but it's good to have and there are solid ones there are ones with little gem gems in them and stuff and then we have slightly larger balls here i don't know the actual diameter of the balls right now sorry about that but yeah that's just how it is these are solid color ones in here and then in here we have ones with little gems in them but these are the same size and these are roughly the size that i generally use for my snake bites in here we have discs and larger sizes so stuff that i would wear in my medusa generally like this little disc for instance which is very nice in here we have all the plastic balls whenever I feel like wearing plastic jewelry and then at the end over here I have all of my spikes and these I wear in my snake bites as well so here are some examples of those I don't wear spikes crazy often because I don't want to like puncture my dog when I kiss him <laughs> or my husband for that matter and uh, yeah but they look cool and I sometimes wear them for clubbing and stuff like that so those are all of my three stories of 
piercing jewelry. And as you guys know, I get most of my piercing jewelry from Crazy Factory, just simply because they're so cheap and I like switching things up, so it is important for me to not buy crazy expensive stuff because I, I wouldn't be able to have as much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just a little quick peek at my piercing jewelry. If you have any questions, as always, go post those in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Thank you for watching, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!